everyone, this is Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little uh, mini folio. This is from a printable kit in my Etsy shop, My Porch Prints, and um, let's just take a look inside and see kind of what comes with it and how it's put together. So um, the kit actually comes with, oops, it's upside down, um, a few different cover designs show you here. It comes with four different designs. These are three and then this this is the fourth one. And then it also comes with a bunch of little um, pages and ephemera pieces, little embellishments and things. And so we're going to be putting this together and I'll show you how it's done. Now on this design I went ahead and like inked the edges. It's all kind of polished and put together. The one I'm making today we may not do a lot of inking just because that takes up a lot of time. So but if you want to ink the edges as you go along that's fine. So um, to start with we're going to go ahead and make the main folio piece. <clears throat> Sorry I'm chewing gum here too because my throat's a little scratchy and um, it gets dried out pretty quick. So sorry if I'm smacking gum while I'm talking. So this main folio, or this main, um, yeah, folio cover is um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do. And what you do, I've cut out all the pieces already, so we would, wouldn't have to spend time doing that. But um, the first thing you wanna do is fold it in half on this line right here in the center. And line up your edges so it's really nice and straight. There we go. And then, um, you're going to want to glue it and um, I'm going to be using a uh, glue stick but you might want to use regular glue for this part because I've noticed that after time they kind of tend to um, pop apart if they're just used if you just use glue stick but um, since I don't have a lot of time for regular glue to dry I'm going to go ahead and do it this way so you fold it in half and glue it together and make sure your edges are lined up. And then after that's glued together, you'll want to fold it on each line. And this is gonna create your folio shape. And this can get a little tricky. Sometimes you need a ruler to get it straight and make everything crisp. You can see how it's already starting to get that kind of folio shape. <laughs> I think my cat wants my attention. He's like, who are you talking to? Okay, so then once you've got all the lines folded, what you wanna do is cut around your flap so that it'll have the curved shape. And then that's your folio. And again, if you ink the edges, it'll hide some of the white parts that show. I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this a little bit closer. When you fold it, it will slide and move a little and, and sometimes the white edges will show a little. Ink, ink really does help with that. And if you're new to journaling and you're like, what is she talking about with ink? Uh, this is Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I'll try to put a link to it down below. Um, and then I just apply it using a makeup sponge. So here, I'll just show you real quick how it kind of helps hide the white edges. So you just ink around the edges a little bit and that'll help and then you can also ink on the um, folds too if you want to anyway like I said I won't do the whole thing but there we go okay so your main folio is folded and ready to go I'm gonna set that aside for a minute and then we're going to um, take a look at this piece in the kit. It's called, I think, Folio C. And I'm gonna show you how to fold this. So you fold it in half the long way on the line. 
And it's nice having a kit for this, just if you're not super, you know, creative at thinking around corners, um, this helps that you can just, you know, let the kit do the work for you. And all the pieces are measured out and ready to fold. They've got lines. You can see the lines where you can make the folds. So it takes kind of some of the guesswork out of it. And a ruler does come in handy if you want your lines kind of straight. And I'm not using it right now, but it helps just to fold around that straight edge of the ruler. Mine's going to be a little wonky since I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And that this is going to become a folding piece in the folio. And again, you know, inking the edges will hide some of these white lines and, and such. And if your edges aren't quite lining up, you can cut them. Try to help them line up a little better. Okay, so then this is folio C, and it goes inside of our main folio. Sorry about the lighting here. There's a lot of shadow happening. So um, you can decide the placement of things in here, too. I'm going to go ahead and just do it kind of the way I've done it before. But if you want to put things on different sides or rearrange it, that's totally up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in this back flap of the folio. And it's made to fit pretty tight, so you'll want to make sure that it's kind of lined up where it's supposed to be. Oops, and I forgot to glue this, didn't I? <laughs> Missed a step, sorry. You want to glue this shut before you do this. My bad getting ahead of myself here. Okay, so that piece is in there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is this one. And this is, I think, called Folio B in your kit. And it works kind of the same way. You fold it on the half line and then glue and then fold the rest. and then we'll just cut off this extra. And as I mentioned before, inking the edges will help hide some of the raw edge here. Okay, so um, this little folio will have a little booklet inside of it. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that. And for this part, you'll need the um, smaller papers, the size B papers. You can see I've got size A for the larger folio and size B for the smaller pieces. So we're gonna use these two um, with the designs on them, not the, not the stripey one yet, the one with the lines. <laughs> so, um, we're going to be folding these pages accordion style and we're going to start with the last two pages here. So um, you want to fold these on the lines and line it all up really nice. And these back two pages are going to back each other up so that's why you fold it this direction. You don't want to fold it this direction. And 
and I am notoriously bad at lining things up, so hopefully I can keep things straight. And you just go back and forth, back and forth, starting with those last two pages. And then this blank page at the front here is going to actually help hook this to the other set of pages. And it's a little crooked, but not too bad. So um, what you want to do to hook this set to this set is we're going to slip this page in between the last two here. And it's going to kind of be like a little sandwich. And that's going to help hook all these together. So to do that, you put glue on these last two pages. And then you slide this blank page inside. And that hooks those pages together. And then what we're gonna do is glue every page to the next one. So this page is gonna get glued to this page and so on and so forth. So you just turn it over and start gluing. And remember to try to keep it straight. It can still go astray even though we folded them. So. Okay, so now you've got all these little pages for your booklet. And you've got this um, blank page that's going to become kind of a wraparound piece. We're gonna wrap it around to the back and use it to kind of hold the book together and create a little spine. Now in the instructions, I tell you to just um, cut it and then glue it. But if you wanna get fancy, you can use some kind of edging punch or something similar, make a, a fancy design and wrap that around instead. So I'm gonna see if I can do this without embarrassing myself, who knows. That kind of works. So you can make a fancy edge to wrap around if you want. And I think that's gonna be a little bit long, so I'm gonna give it another shot. Let's see if it works. I'm kind of flying blind here, so we'll see. Yeah, kind of. Didn't quite get it in all the way, but you get the idea. And then you can ink that too, and it'll make it kind of pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and glue that to this page. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to, if you wanna leave this you know, without pulling it around, you can just cut this whole page off. It's really up to you. But I thought this made it nice and finished. And then um, this little booklet goes inside of this little folio. And this in turn goes inside here. So you can see things are starting to come together. All right, so uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is the um, large papers, size A papers. We're gonna fold them accordion style, which I've already done, and then glue them the same way, starting with this back page, and then we're gonna leave this blank one, you know, unglued. So this glues to this, and this glues to this, and this glues to this.
All right. And then what's going to happen is we're going to take this blank last page here and glue it into our folio. And you can see my folio is already coming apart because glue stick just doesn't seem to work quite as well as regular glue. So um, again, you may want to use regular glue when putting your folio together. Oops. Okay, so we're going to glue the back of this page and hook it into our folio. And everything should be right side up. You're going to want to line it up so it's between the folds. You can see that. And maybe before it's completely dry, just double check that everything fits and closes nicely and it seems to. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a little bit. And we'll work on the next part, which is this little um, hourglass tuck spot. And then also this uh, final set of small size B pages. Um, same thing, fold them accordion style, starting at the back too, and glue them together. And that gives us our pages and then our final flap here, which again, I'm going to fold around and attach here on the back page. But um, I'm going to try to make a decorative edge again, see if we can get it right this time. I just don't know. It's hard to see if I have it where it needs to be. Oh, that's not so bad. And like I said, you don't have to do a decorative punch. You can cut this off or just do a half a page, whatever, whatever works easiest for you. There we go. Let that dry a minute. And um, so this little hourglass shaped tuck spot is gonna go um, in the back here on this blank page where we hooked in our other pages. And uh, what you do is cut it out and just fold these flaps. And these become your attachment points. So you put a little glue on each one. Try not to get it on the rest of the hourglass or it won't work as a tuck spot. And then it goes inside here. Just like this. And then it becomes a place to tuck our little book. It's not dry yet, so it might try to pop off, but we'll, we'll see if we can tuck this in here. I'm afraid I'm gonna pull it right off the page. Yep, I sure am. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to let things dry before I start tucking things in. Well, hopefully that'll stick. Anyway, I might have to re-glue it. But there you go. So you got this little tuck spot back here, and then you got your pages, and then you got this little thing in here with the little booklet inside. And now it's really time to just decorate the folio however you like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly these pieces here. These are to make um, more tuck spots, and again, you just fold the tabs 
and then these long pieces go vertically. So you can hook them onto your pages like this. I'll go ahead and show you how that's done. And you know what? I changed my mind. I actually want it on this side, I think. It'll be easier to pull things out of it. <laughs> if that sticks. Maybe that's why my glue doesn't stick is because I'm always changing my mind and pulling things off and putting them back on. And then um, inking the edges also makes this stand out a little bit nicer too, but I'm not going to be bothering with that right now. So um, this also comes with some little envelopes. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start with this guy, I think. And you just again fold the tabs. And I'm going to put this envelope inside this little folio piece. So you want to glue just on the tabs. And go ahead and stick it in place. And then you can choose um, a little piece to go inside of it. I'm going to try to get in here and pop this open. And um, I've also got these little tiny like flags that come with the kit as well. And what you can do is hook those on the back of your card so that it's easier to pull out of your little tiny envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then also um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the ink and ink the back of this just so it's not a raw white edge because that's kind of weird looking sometimes. And there we go. So it's a little more vintagey looking, not quite as stark and white. And then this slips inside of your little envelope. And if you want, you can fold this over so that it doesn't poke out. And then you can use it to pull out your little card. Okay. And then this little envelope, you just fold the sides. which way it looks nicest. I think that does. Yeah, I'll get underneath. Okay, so then um, what I do is I put glue just on this bottom flap and then fold it and fold these two on top and that'll usually catch the glue, even though it's a tiny thing and it's kind of hard sometimes with these tiny pieces to get the glue where it belongs. All right, and again, you might wanna ink the inside edge of this before you put it together and give it more of a vintagey look. So I would probably have done that if I was gonna bother with inking all these. And then this kit also comes with um, some papers, kind of like these. And um, they're kind of built so that you can just fold them in half and use them to, to back each other up so that it'll have a front and a back. Just like that. And then uh, they can become papers that you tuck inside of your little envelopes. There we go. 
and then you just fold them in half and in half again and then again if you want you can ink the edges um, I did that on my finished piece here and you can kind of see how it looks when it's inked And so that's just what we'll do with this piece as well. We'll tuck it inside of our envelope, which isn't dry and will probably pop apart <laughs> because I haven't had time to let it dry, I'm sorry. And then um, that can go inside your little tuck spot, just like that. And you can continue to decorate uh, the whole book with the other little tuck spots. These go on the bottom of the pages like right here and then you can tuck little things into there as well and then it also comes with little um, uh, rulers little tiny tape measures and a whole bunch of little ephemera pieces and just um, lots of cute things for you to get creative with and kind of embellish it however you want so um, I won't go ahead and do all of it today but just to give you an idea here's the finished one that I did and it's got the little card here and the little booklet inside here. Oops. And then I put a little ruler over here. And again, little tuck spots. Where I tucked the little tiny ephemera. And then this is that little book in the back that we did. And I put a little ruler over here. So you can just kind of choose how you want to decorate it. And then it is very full when you're finished. So um, to keep it closed, I just use a piece of twine. And you could get more creative if you wanted to, on how you want to keep it closed. But I just wrap a piece of twine around and tie it. You could also put a little um, charm or embellishment of some kind on the twine as well. So there you have it. That's the mini folio from My Porch Prints. And again, that printable kit is in my shop. Thanks for watching, everybody.